You see this? Raining <laughs> again. I'm not kidding you. Raining again. It rained this past weekend again. Now it's raining again. That's why I got to do some videos in the garage. But I got a good one for you guys because we're going to be talking about safety and how you dress properly to be safe out there. I'll tell you a short little story. I'm sure you guys have seen this probably happen. If you guys ride a lot like me uh, all throughout the year, you probably you probably seen this. I seen this honestly this year, probably about, I'm going to say probably about four or five times where somebody laid the bike down, whether it's on a straight or mostly happens in a turn. It happened. I seen it happen in Daytona. I seen it happen in Sturgis. I actually seen a young kid around the turn kind of in my area. I was coming around the ramp, getting onto the highway and there he was. Thank God I wasn't ripping through there, but there he was laying on the side. He just wiped out. He had shorts on and a t-shirt and some sneakers. He did have a full face helmet but he was tore up pretty bad. He was okay, he was able to pick the bike up. I helped him pick the bike up and he was able to get on his way, but he definitely needed medical attention. His arms, both of his arms, his hands, he didn't even have gloves on. Uh, his arms, his hands, his legs were all tore up because of the pavement. So if you never seen something like that before, I'm telling you, you, you really don't want to see it and you definitely don't want to happen to you. So I preach to everybody, definitely have the proper riding gear. Have some kind of long sleeve, either shirt or, you know, something heavier, leather jacket, what have you. Definitely have some jeans on and have the proper riding boots, full face helmet, especially if you're new to the sport of riding without a doubt like even my son he just started pretty much riding this year he's got always he's got a full face helmet on he has what i'm going to show you the beyond riders flannel on all the time and the beyond riders jeans and i'm going to tell you why i really push for the beyond rider stuff in a moment here but even if you have the proper equipment say like jeans and a long sleeve even a sweatshirt on sometimes that's still not enough because as soon as you go down on that asphalt at say 30, 40 miles an hour or above, chances are this stuff, this sweatshirt material or jean, a regular jean type material is going to rip. It's going to tear through the moment that you hit the pavement and start sliding. And then the only thing that's there left is your skin. So a lot of you guys have been asking me like, what flannel am I wearing? What jeans am I wearing? You guys are always asking me what boots am I wearing? I always tell you guys, as far as the gloves and the boots go, we're always rocking Indie Ridge boots and gloves. All the links are down below in the video description, but you definitely have to be prepared on a motorcycle. Yes, there has been certain occasions where I'm rocking just a t-shirt. I'm always using my Beyond Riders jeans, but there is sometimes that very rare occasion that I will just have a t-shirt. And that's only when it's like literally 100, 105. Maybe I've been riding all day. We're out there, whatever, like Sturgis a couple years ago or in somewhere where it's like really, really hot. But not too often am I riding in a t-shirt. I always have something on me, but especially now, the fall, winter months, you guys know, I don't put the bike away. I'm riding all fall, all winter long, right into the 2024 riding season. So let me just show you guys, because this these products from Beyond Riders, man, I'm telling you, not only do they look cool, but they have a something special inside of them that is going to protect you even more. So you guys always ask me, what kind of flannel am I rocking? So what kind of jeans am I rocking? This is the stuff right here. This is from Beyond Riders, right here, beyondriders.com. All of the links are down below in the description and you could use the code that is also down below. In the video description, it'll get you uh, a discount off your, uh, off your order. But they have so many colors to choose from and when I tell you that this is top quality, it is top quality. I only like, honestly, like the best stuff. I'm never going to 
push something that I don't recommend. I'm never going to tell you guys to buy something that I don't 100% truly believe in. But like super high quality, not only button snaps, you got the zipper, you got pockets inside. Yeah, you got the American flag right there. You got snap pockets here in the chest pockets. Um, you even have snaps for the lapel right there, which is great. Um, this is obviously a flannel. There is so many colors to choose from. Just head on over to their website. You're, you're gonna see so many colors. If you don't like this color, there's literally like 20, 30 different other colors. And then like this is more for fall and winter. And then this one is a mesh. I have it all in black. Um, I'm gonna be getting some more colors, so stay tuned. But this one is the one that I was wearing when it was super hot out. This is like a mesh type material. Same thing goes for this one, zipper. Not only does it have a zipper, but it's got the uh, snaps. It's got the snaps on the chest pockets and on the lapel. And I'm gonna show you the jeans. I'm rocking the jeans and their cargo pants. So this is what is super important about the Beyond Riders gear. If you could see that tint of like yellowish material shining through the mesh material on the inside. Okay, let me show you guys on this one. Uh, this one, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Hang on one second, but you should be able to see it. But all of them have it. Uh, I don't know, this one's a little, this one's a little thicker, the mesh, you can't see it. But this is the thing. All of the Beyond Riders gear have Kevlar lining inside of the entire flannel or the cargo pants or the jeans that I have in my room. Everything is Kevlar lined. That's why it's so good. That's why it's so important because it's that much more abrasion resistant to like pavement when you land on the pavement or some light gravel and something like that. The material is going to withhold more forces than a regular flannel. Like a regular flannel, it's going to tear. But me, I know with this one, I ride with confidence because it's Kevlar lined, it's Kevlar lined. The cargo pants are all Kevlar lined. That's in the gray. I got a pair here in the black and in the olive. I got regular, they also have regular jeans that are also Kevlar lined. And they even have like you could see this right here, you see the yellow, that's all Kevlar lining in the Beyond Riders hoodie. So this is a zip up hoodie, American flag right there. You could see Beyond Riders. So they have so much apparel, but that's what they're kind of known for. It's, it's the quality of the stuff. It's the Kevlar reinforced products, their jeans, their cargo pants, their hoodies, their flannels, they have a lot of products on their websites. So if you're looking for a some proper full and winter riding gear, definitely, definitely check out Beyond Riders. And like I said, they have so many colors to choose from, whether it's the mesh for the spring, summer, early fall, or whether you wanna go flannel. Like what I normally do right now, like I'll put, I'll have a t-shirt on and I'll have my heated jacket underneath this and this right over everything. I used this same flannel jacket for my main trip, my main vlogs when we went up to Maine. Um, if it's a kind of a little too hot out, you just wanna rock a hoodie, well, throw on the Beyond Riders Kevlar hoodie. It is going to protect you way more than a standard cotton hoodie like this. This cotton hoodie is going to shred like some Parmesan cheese across that pavement if you, God forbid, um, go over. So it's just that extra level of protection. It's just that extra level of confidence that you have knowing that if you're gonna go down and the stuff like looks really, really cool, um, if you're gonna go down, you're gonna be able to get up, get back on your bike hopefully and head home um, without major injuries because even some road rash, man, it's bad. I'm telling you, you literally, I don't wanna even, I hate talking about stuff like this, but you're gonna lose a couple layers of skin. 
and chances are you're gonna be out for weeks, maybe months. So that's why I'm saying it's always very super important to have the proper gear on um, and to be properly geared up for every ride, even though you think, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be calm today, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be safe, I'm gonna be cautious, but you don't know what's gonna happen. You know, that's most of the time that's when stuff happens is when you say, yeah, I'm not gonna go far from home, I'm not gonna go too fast, I'm not, I'm gonna take it easy today, but you don't know what knucklehead is out there, if he's going to cut you off, if he's going to jam on his brake and you have to somehow swerve out of the way, you don't know what's gonna happen. So you always, no matter what, if you're on a motorcycle, you always have to be prepared for the worst thing possible. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I'm a firm believer of that. I, I always preach to you guys about wearing the proper gear and trust me, the Beyond Rider stuff not only does it look cool, they have so many colors and styles to choose from. It is all Kevlar lined. And that's what I want to reiterate over and over and over again to you guys. The cargo, they just came out with these cargo pants too. And just super, super comfortable. They look badass and they fit great. And again, just all Kevlar lined inside. Like you could see, you could see the yellow lining all throughout the jeans and trust me when i tell you you land on a pair of kevlar lined like a flannel top and a kevlar lined pair of jeans or cargo pants it's going to protect you way more it's going to be more abrasion resistant than a regular pair of jeans and or a regular cotton shirt or a sweatshirt um whatever obviously if it gets super super cold out um you know i'm rocking my leather jacket and stuff like that always got the Kevlar jeans on, uh, normally with a pair of like, um, they're not long johns, but I showed uh, them to you guys in a previous video. They're kind of like a pair of tight Nike or Under Armour kind of undergarment that goes under uh, my jeans. And it just that extra layer to keep you warm, but I always have that Kevlar line pair of jeans over them. Um, but anyway, yeah, definitely check them out because I know I've been getting a lot of messages and emails um, what, who makes the flannel, who makes your jeans and stuff like that, who made that hoodie. So I just wanted to kind of make like a full winter ride gear video for you guys. So this way you guys know what I'm wearing. Check them out at Beyond Riders. They got a whole bunch. I even have, uh, when we do club events, and our club colors are kind of blue and black, and I'm always rocking the blue and black Beyond Riders flannel underneath my club cut, which looks fantastic also, and I'm well protected. So again, links are down below in the description, code is down below in the description, check out their products. You will, I promise you will definitely not be disappointed. All the guys in my riding group rock it. I think almost everybody has one, um, whether it's some Beyond Riders jeans or a flannel. I think everybody's rocking a Beyond Riders flannel now. Sandy from Holy Shift, he's been rocking their stuff for a long time and that's who actually got me onto their products. So definitely check them out. Thanks for watching guys, be safe out there. We're bringing the bike over to, don't forget, over to Get Lowered this week for that special something. Peace out, we'll see you guys on another one.